Live from Chicago, Illinois, it's theCUBE. Covering Veeam On 2018. Brought to you by Veeam. Welcome back to Chicago, everybody. Veeam On 2018. This is Dave Vellante, co-host Stu Miniman. So day two, they're breaking down the exhibit hall, but the cube keeps going. Benno Kuiper is here. He's a senior strategic product manager at Equinix. Welcome to theCUBE, thanks Thank for coming Thank you, on. good to be here. So Equinix is, is cranking, the data center is booming, the data center business is booming, Correct. you guys are at the heart of it. You're, you're working with all the cloud providers, obviously you're working uh, with, with Veeam. Uh, talk about your role and yeah. what your relationship is with Veeam. All right, uh, I'm re I represent uh, uh, the managed service department in the Netherlands, so uh, what we are doing on the uh, beautiful uh, platform we have with Equinix, is uh, provide managed services, and then in the hybrid category. And what we provide our customers is, uh, for example, data management platform. So we provide the, 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 the ease of mind with data management and business continuity on backup and disaster recovery. Okay. So the enterprise is our customer. So you're both a Veeam customer and partner, right? Yeah, we are a platinum partner of, uh, of Veeam, yeah. Okay. So we provide, we provide the backup services uh, to our customers, yeah. Okay, so you said so you, you, you purchase their products, install them, and you got a relationship yes. where you guys share the yeah. revenue somehow, some right. way. Yeah. So okay. in the Netherlands we, uh, we service the, the enterprise market and also uh, big government, governmental uh, uh, companies and we use uh, Veeam for their disaster recovery services. See. Yeah. So what are the big trends you see in data protection these days? Uh, of course, uh, GDPR is uh, very <laughs> close. Um, we see that, especially in the Netherlands, uh, for a lot of companies, the data has to be stored in the Netherlands. But the ambition to go to the public cloud and use the hyperscalers is still in the same trend. So what we try to do is to uh, keep the data safe in the Netherlands, but uh, make it possible for our customers to use the hyperscalers for compute. Mm -hmm. That's an important uh, strategy we see. Yeah, it, one of the things that's been interesting to watch here is Veeam's, they, they call it the, the hybrid, the multi-cloud yes. strategy. Maybe, c c give, give us some examples of what your customers, uh, you said compliance is the reason they keep it, yeah. uh, you know, especially in, in, in say the Netherlands and yeah. their services. Do you have any examples you can give of things like that? Um, yeah, we service uh, 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 a few big customers that uh, are um, um, uh, obliged to be in the Netherlands with their data uh, and all the, the, the service they provide to their customers for the Dutch citizens. And uh, we have our own uh, cloud platform for that, so they're not using uh, public clouds. But um, the availability they need is very high. Mm. And uh, that's what we provide. So what's driving that? Um, maybe everybody talks about digital transformation. Yes. Is that, is that the driver, and you know, what is that? Um, I think that the digital transformation is just it's not just about infrastructure, it's how companies are and how they want to be. Mm. And um, what we see is that they first want to have the data secured, and next to that they want to experiment with hyperscale and the real cloud native uh, environments. And providing both of those worlds in one package is what we see as a, as a big trend. Mm -hmm. but, but no, when I think about businesses like yours, yeah. simplicity, yes. scalability, and cost effectiveness, yes. you know, come to mind, or the, the, those kind of the top three, and if so, uh, you know, if, if, from, from what you need from a solution like Veeam. Yes. Um, what we currently provide to our customers is more uh, the, the, the disaster recovery part of the, the suite. Yeah. Um, and uh, so when there's something wrong, we are there to help the customer to get uh, back on track as soon as possible. And uh, we're in, here in, the, in Vimon 2000, 2018 to explore the whole suite. Because what we see is that uh, uh, like uh, services as office uh, backup, uh, the customers are getting more mature about uh, uh, using cloud and uh, SaaS solutions, but still want to have the secure uh, uh, environment. Are, are you, is your expertise specific to, to Veeam, or is it more general? Are you more using, general. Okay, yeah. so you're using other products as well? Yes. How yeah. do you decide what to use where? Uh, with uh, Econex we have a, a policy to uh, select uh, the, the, the leaders in the market. 
and also on, uh, based on functionality and the services we want to provide repackaged to our customers. And that's why Theme uh, was one of our uh, selected partners. Okay, um, so what do they do better than others? What's their sweet spot? Um, yeah, we chose Veeam uh, uh, a couple of years ago uh, based on the functionality mainly. Uh -huh. And uh, th there were my technical colleagues that uh, uh, gave, gave the list of uh, arguments to choose for Veeam. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, maybe you, you, when we look at your space, SLAs are something that are yes. important to your customers. How's that been changing in your environment and how, how does the solution with Veeam help you meet that for customers? Um, I, I think that the way we approach it, it's more like you first discuss with the customer what kind of availability they need and the performance they need, and then you design the architecture, and that is also immediately the SLA. Instead of making a nice platform and then uh, start discussion talking about the SLAs. <laughs> so uh, we try to have the, the, the correct infrastructure with the architecture and solutions within to meet customers' uh, demands. And that's another way to approach uh, SLAs. So flexibility and granularity yes. is part of that. So yeah. I mean, one of the problems in backup, we've been talking about it all day and yesterday, is, is many data protection approaches are one size fits all. Yes. You say, okay, here's our, we're going to back it up, you know, once a day, you know, incremental, and, you know, once a, once a week, yeah. you know, full, whatever it is, you know, that's it. Yes. You know? Yeah. Uh, and you're, this is your RPO, this is your RTO, take it or leave it. Yes. Are you able to, these days, provide more granularity for customers? Uh, there's always a, a, a field of tension between uh, standardized products and customer-specific solutions. And we try always to use the, the standards uh -huh. because then we are better in uh, guaranteeing the service. But as, uh, as the, 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 the legacy of uh, uh, Econix Managed Service in the Netherlands, we tend to do uh, 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 a lot more for our customers. Whatever the customer that's our, wants. That's what our uh, differentiator is at this moment. Yeah, okay, so that, but that creates challenges just in terms yeah. of managing all these different templates yes. and SLAs. And yeah. Can't you, I mean, I'm sure you do this. You, you have you know, categories and sort of banding, if you will. I mean, is that how you're dealing with this problem? Um, you know, gold. You know, silver, bronze kind of thing, or no? It's yes, we gold one, gold two, yeah. gold three, gold four, gold I, five. Uh, uh, I see that we uh, go from gold to platinum, and it's also gold. But uh, yes, the, the service levels are high, yeah. and uh, that's why we are so successful. We can do that. Right. All right how about v Vimon 2018? What have you seen? Anything that's really particularly exciting? You said you wanted to come yeah. here to better understand yes. the export, but the portfolio, presumably, so you could exploit it. What have you learned? What's exciting you? Yeah, yeah the timing of this uh, conference was uh, perfect because, uh, uh, as you know, Equinix is uh, at this time uh, in the middle of the internet. So all the public clouds and all the tier one players are connecting on our platform and we call it uh, the Equinix uh, Cloud Exchange Fabric. And right on that fabric, the best place for data management platform is there. So we are trying to uh, enlarge the suite from data to archiving, so storage to archiving, on that spot. So that we do that in the Netherlands, we are building a portfolio around that data platform to provide the customers a safe place for all of their data, and it can be uh, redundant within the Netherlands in uh, 12 uh, IBXs. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are also strongly connected to those public uh, cloud providers so they can put the workload in the cloud and the data on Equinix. Well, who's so, go ahead. No, that was, uh, who's your favorite public cloud provider? Ah, you don't have to answer no. that, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the thing is they are both very good, <laughs> but uh, uh, having control on where your data and your applications are is a bit uh, less, so Great. that's the, 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 the market we are jumping in now. Excellent, but Benno, thanks very much for coming on theCUBE, it was really a pleasure having you. It, likewise, All thank right. you. Keep it right there, everybody. The Cube at VeeamOn 2018. We're winding down day two. Dave Vellante for Stu Miniman. We'll be right back.